Hi, it's Sue Rodman with Field Trips with Sue Family Travel Blog, and I'm here with Chantel Ritter, and she is the founder of the Crew for the Grateful Gluttons, which is one of my favorite parade um, entrants, I guess. And she, we are doing a lantern workshop for the Lantern Parade. Chantel also is the founder of the Lantern Parades in Atlanta, which if you've never been, is fantastic. One of the best parades that you will see. So we're gonna talk to Chantel in a minute about how to do a globe lantern, but first we wanna talk to some folks who've just done their globe lantern. So let's turn you around and see. Okay, so tell me your name and talk loud so everybody can hear. Uh, I'm Jessica and... And tell me about your lantern, Jessica. Did you just make this? Yes, and it's a, ki it's it, a kitty. It's a kitty? All right, and who do you have? Who are your friends over here? Uh, Charlotte, Jackson, and Nathan. All right, Charlotte, what's yours? It's a dog. It's a dog, and why did you make a dog? Well, because they're one of my favorite animals. All right. And I have even a dog that I think to look like this. That's awesome, and it's got a little tail in the back too, doesn't it? Yep. Cool. And let me. What's yours? What's your name? Um, my name is Jackson, and I'm like a, a rock singer. A rock singer. Let's see the rock um, singer. It, it's just. I like the gold tooth. <laughs> it's all just made of tissue paper, um, and it's really easy. You just cut out the tissue paper that you want, and then glue it on, and you can do as any design you want. You know. You just, so um, you're. It's pretty easy to do. Yes, I just you know colored the mouth. On tissue paper, then cut it out and glued it on. Same thing with the sunglasses and the hair all around. Cool. And what's your name? Um, Nathan, and I made a grumpy cat. You made a grumpy cat. Oh, awesome. Let's see. And you've got a tail on your grumpy cat, too. Yes. Cool. All right, let's get you guys together here. Are you going to come to the lantern parade? Yes, we yes. are. Where's the lantern parade going to be? I have no idea. <laughs> The Lantern Parade is going to be in Sandy Springs on June 18th. And it All starts right. right here. It starts here at North Springs United Methodist Church. Wow. Cool. Yeah. And where are we going? To the river? Yes, we are taking it to the river. They're taking it to the river. Yes, indeed. Wow. And I'm going to float some of my lanterns on the river. Cool. Well, let's see how to how do we actually make a lantern? The globe lanterns are the easiest form. And how long did it take you guys to make that? An hour and a half? Yeah. Yeah, and they're hour. awesome. So an hour and a half, you can have lanterns that are that cool. So look, here's our stuff. Okay, let's go see. What, what do we need to make a lantern? I get these uh, these lanterns ordered offline. So you can, there's all kinds of round, even ribbing paper lanterns. And we're using a tap light. So these are available in all kinds of stores, Target, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, sometimes CVS. It's a three LED tap light that we're attaching to the top of the lantern, just using some clear packing tape. The uh, tissue paper and the glue are really easy, so it's just Elmer's glue that's, that's uh, watered down a little bit. And let me go over there. How's it coming? You don't need a lot of glue, less is more. So you're gonna glue, put the glue on the lantern and then add your tissue paper to it and then paint it down a little more. Nice. And, uh, the, more the streamers look great, that great movement. Yeah, we like the streamers. Good job, guys. And look at all of these globes that are being made now. They're, it's so fun to see people and how creative they are with their globes and just kind of what they come up with. It just started as a plain old round circle, and they're coming up with really fun things. There's a, um, there's a, a, scene, a beach scene. and look since a little owl over there. Got fish. Fish. We've got um, 